Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Mr. Bookman here, and today I will be reading The Couch Potato by John, Jory John and Pete Oswald. Please enjoy. The Couch Potato I am a potato. Not a small potato like my brother. Not a sweet potato like my mother. Not a mashed potato like my uncle Stu. I am a couch potato. Oh yeah, it's true. My favorite place to slotch is on the couch. I spend all my free time sitting in the expected spot. Why would I ever leave this comfy, cozy couch? It's got everything a potato could need. See, I have this, and this, and this. It's got a remote control, a yo-yo, a gaming control, a paddle with a ball, and one of these, and these, headphones, and this, popcorn, and that, a cap with drinks, and this. Mm. Socks or <laughs> footies. Oh, and this. Check this out. This button activates a gadget that fetches me snacks whenever I want. Bam. Impressed. And I don't have to move an inch much easier than going to the kitchen. Well, do you have anything like that, people, to help you out get your food? If the most important thing in life is to be comfortable at all times, then I think I've got it all figured out. Uh, but wait, there's more. I haven't revealed the absolute best part about my whole setup. It's everything you see in front of, you, of me. Have a look around. Take it all in. Pretty spectacular, right? Yes, it's yes, it's a sea of sh shimmering screens from wall to shiny wall. What joy. What bless. Though these screens feature my favorite shows. This screen has all my unanswered messages these screens are where I play video games and this screen is a live stream for my friends my best bud for life this is how my pals and I spend quality time together it's much easier than trying to meet up somewhere like folks did in the old days. That's for sure. Hey, Spuddy. Hey, pal. Tattoo. Yes, from this very couch, I could control everything in my life all the time with just a few taps and a couple of clicks. Not bad, huh? Uh... Yes, sirree, this is the life. Something strange ha happened. There was a knock at the door, and it was the delivery. Whoosh! Woohoo! It was my newest device, a video camera that will allow me to watch myself react while I was watching all my favorite shows. All I had to do was plug it in in my room. Nay, May Kingdom would be completed. But suddenly, pew! 
What do you think happened? Everything went dark. Look out. Coming through. Whoops. Woof. Ooh. Whamp. He lost power. I made it to the window. I pulled back the curtains. The sun seems brighter than I remember. There was nothing better to do, so I decided to take my dog, Tater, for a walk outside. It's been a while. Everything was valid, like a high revolution 156 inch curb screen, but even more re realistic, something smelled fresh. After a few moments, I realized it was the air. I heard a noise, some chirps, a ringtone perhaps, but no, I looked up to see some birds. I wandered down the street from block to block and across the neighborhood. Evenly, I thought I found a park with a hill. There was a massive tree on top. It, it looked like a desktop background, only it was real. I leaned against the tree. It wasn't as comfortable as my couch. Not even close, but after a while, it wasn't so bad. Uh. <clears throat> Any worries about the power outage and what I might be missing drifted away. I wasn't thinking about my favorite shows or my unanswered messages or anything else, really. I noticed the stillness, the view, the sky, the clouds, the sunset. And those colors, my goodness, it took a while because there was no fast-forward opinion. But evenly, the sun sank below the horizon. By the time I got home, the power was back on. I sat on the couch. I hit the bottom of the button to brush my teeth. Scritch, scritch, scritch. I pulled the layer to change my pajamas. Lover to change my pajamas. Blop. I turned the knob to watch a bedtime story. Good night, Spud. Then I noticed my reflection in one of the screens. I wondered how much of my life had been spent in that very spot. It was then and there that I made the decision to peel myself off the couch a bit more often, maybe every day even. And so what? that's what I've done. I've started hanging out with my friends, my best buddies outside were we started biking and hiking and swimming and hiding and seeking. Sometimes we have snacks and play board games. Sometimes we talk all day. We might watch the clouds. There's no big plan. We just see what happens. <clears throat> it makes me wonder what... If I don't always need to be totally comfortable, what if I'm happier when I have a better balance between my gadgets and the world outside? Because it turns out that I'm more than just a couch potato. I'm a I'm an a zo zooming potato. I'm a smart potato. I'm a kind potato. I'm an entertaining potato. And I'm a sit on a hill and watch sunset potato. Yes, there's a giant big world out there and I want to be part of it in person.
But don't get me wrong. At the end of a long day, after I ran and played and talked and laughed with my friends, I still think it's awful nice to slouch on the couch. Uh, well, how many of you uh, sit on your couch? And do you call yourself a couch potato? <laughs> Let me know in the comment box if uh, you plop yourself on the couch and just kick back and relax on it. I know I do. <laughs> just me and my son that lives together, so <laughs> don't have to fight with people to over the couch. Well, everybody, hope all of you enjoyed this story time, and I want to say thank you very much for watching and enjoying. And everyone out there, you have a good one and a safe one. And please, with all the stuff that is happening, is to mask up. I mean, wash your hands. If you got a cough or sneeze, cover with your elbow. Stay six feet from people. Disaffect things, but please, one thing, mask up. Until next time, I am Mr. Bookman, and this story time is over. Have a good one, everybody.